Hi everybody, I'm Sara the Koala and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you how to defeat the first monolith solo by yourself, zero, nada, no support, no nothing. So the monolith is going to be the ravenous hunter and it is the monolith of greed. This is the first one you have to do and then progress your story quest on. So I will be quiet for the cutscenes and I will chapterize this and talk you through the pattern. It's easily done yourself at level 10 or maybe even a little bit lower if you wanted to. But I am going to show you the pitfalls and things to be careful of. Before you move a foot, let's just make sure you've got your hotkeys all panel with your activators, adrenalines, food, whatever else you need. Also make sure every single gun is indeed reloaded. So as you enter the arena, you can hide behind these two bars here that I am doing. And ultimately, if you really wanted to, you could spend most of your time here behind. Now he does have a Gatling gun, he has to reload it every now and then. There's several attacks that he does give that, Gatling, rocket launchers, homing missiles, acid spits, things like this. However, you could, for the most part, stay here behind here as he shoots. When he's reloading, jump out and give him a shot. Try and aim for that central dome part of his head. That is his weak spot. What is really cool, though, with yourself and with a teammate, usually, is that if you've hit him for a certain amount of damage, you'll hear him drop his Gatling gun, and he's a little bit incapacitated at that time. You can pick up his Gatling gun and shoot with his own gun. It's awesome. After shooting for a little while, you'll see he becomes immune. At this point, he'll teleport to the back of the arena, and these two eggs will appear either side, right on the far left and on the far right, just near them vent-looking things beside him. You need to go and kill them eggs. If you don't, enemies keep spawning out of them, and you'll slowly and surely get overrun. Now, during this time, he still will try to shoot at you as well, so try and take the outside route where you can hide behind lots of items. As you can see here, I did a double roll, which I wanted to keep in, by the way, because it was really cool. At this point, he'll teleport back into the main arena. He is no longer immune and you can start to shoot at him again. At this point, is that's the pattern. So keep shooting him for X amount. He'll drop his gun, shoot with his gun. He'll teleport away. And then again, the eggs will appear. And that will happen as many times as you want. So just to prove that I'm not crazy, you can see I've killed the egg. I'm running around the outside, which is probably the smartest and the most recommended. But I have just shot him there, just to show you. He's very much immune when he's at the back of the arena there. So at this point, I mess up and I get impatient and I try and run away. So I leave myself open at the perfect time that the enemy decides to use a new attack, which is the homing missiles. Now, it doesn't really put me out too much. It doesn't affect my health that badly because I am a high level. However, if you're a lower level, that's going to sting a bit. So again, I do really mention here, do just bring your activators and make sure they're wired to your hotkey so you can quickly inject yourself and get back on your feet. Now, I do like to slow down a little bit here as well because I want you to see all of the attacks the enemy can give to you at this point. So it looks like he's biting his arm and what he does is he spews over a lot of acid everywhere. If you step in that, of course, it's going to leave a sting. Instantly, he then throws another attack at us, and this one is missiles. So you can see them big red circles. Make sure you're not in them, or otherwise you again are going to get hit and incapacitated. And that's the first monolith done. Nice work. Hopefully that was easy for you guys to follow and you can see that pattern. Don't forget to pick up your bounties here and or any deviants that could be floating around. You do get them from the monoliths as well. So be careful. Don't forget. 
to leave this dungeon, you just go to that blue looking thing that's magically appeared, press on G and say exit. You can go back and do this monolith as many times as you like, maybe with your friends or other groups of people that need help. So it's not a one and done kind of thing, come back whenever you want. Once you're done with every monolith, don't forget to push your storyline. So go down to the ground floor and activate one of them cryogenic looking pods. And when you're on that, it'll activate you a new cutscene where you can speak to Misiku and progress your storyline further. And that's it. So I hope you found that useful. Like, subscribe, do your thing, comment on what you want to see next. And I will upload monolith number two in just a minute.